Tonight, Townsville braces for disaster. With more rain on the way, authorities are warning that 20,000 homes could go under within days. A woman dies on board a party boat on Sydney Harbour. A massive sinkhole forms in a Perth shopping centre car park. And a triple threat at Manuka. It's through. In the magical moment, the elegant left-hander is made in town. Curtis Patterson joins the Centurion Club in Canberra. Hello and welcome to ABC News. I'm Lara Himes. The weather first around the capital cities for tomorrow. A shower or two for Brisbane. Mostly sunny in Sydney. Sunny for Adelaide and Perth. Partly cloudy in Canberra. Very hot in Melbourne. A potential late shower for Hobart and a possible storm for Darwin. Well, the flooded North Queensland city of Townsville is on high alert tonight with authorities warning of an unprecedented event. About 300 homes in low-lying areas have already been swamped with flood water and with another rain peak expected, there are fears another 20,000 homes could be hit in the next day or two. And emergency services are expecting no reprieve tonight with the worst still to come. Alison Horn has more. Well, Lara, the Army and the SES has... And the flood watch has now been extended west to properties which just a week ago were in the grips of a drought. While the rain itself is being celebrated, roads have been cut off, shortening supply of essential groceries and fresh produce. A crime scene's been set up on a party boat in Sydney after a woman died on board this afternoon. Emergency services were called to the White Bay Marina in Balmain after reports a passenger had collapsed in the bathroom of the boat. They tried to revive the woman in her 30s, but she suffered a cardiac arrest and died. It's unclear whether fumes reported earlier in the area had anything to do with her death. Another woman was taken to hospital with shock. Brisbane City Council has ticked off the controversial Mount Kuta zip zipline project despite public outcry. Almost 90% of the 3,500 submissions oppose the tourist attraction to be built by a private company. Noise and environmental impacts were among the concerns, but Council has given the one kilometre zip line the nod. This is a problem with this Council. They do not listen to the ratepayers. The lone survivor of an airstrike in Iraq which involved Australian fighter planes has described her escape from the destruction. Middle East correspondent Adam Harvey has this exclusive report. The United States is pulling out of its nuclear treaty with Russia, triggering fears of a new arms race. The 30-year-old pact eliminated thousands of missiles and ended a standoff in Europe, but both the US and Russia accuse each other of violating it. President. More than 7 million Chinese tourists will this week head overseas to celebrate the Lunar New Year holiday and Australia is among their top destinations. Most Chinese, though, travel domestically as part of a mass movement of people across China. Here's China correspondent Bill Bertels. About 1,500 fans have gathered in country Victoria to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Mad Max. The Australian film by George Miller became a landmark moment in cinema and helped launch the career of Mel Gibson. And the open road will be... And that's the latest from ABC News. I'm Lara Himes. Stay with us. Backroads is coming up next.